To bio vets. Today is 10 July 2018. Today is a day from the surgery. This one year old male neuter domestic show head cat fall from the third story. And fractured his uh, left hind leg. So, so now you can see the wounds. The wounds are actually below uh, those two wounds. Those are the skin wounds, they are not part of surgery. One, two, three, yeah. Then the main surgery, the wound is there. Okay, lateral, it's part of the femur. That's about four centimeter. And then, then comes up to the end there. Uh, that, that, that is the, the pin area, which will be the area where we remove the pin eight weeks later. Two days, how many days? After eight days after eight days, surgery. So it's only one week. Okay, now we bring the cat out and you can see that he's going home today. And we put on the table, you can observe the cat. That he's a uh, normal. He, he's been eating and drinking. Owner is anxious to get him home. Okay, put him, put him down on the floor. We just make sure that he can walk a bit, uh, bear weight. Bear weight a bit and he's active and uh, he's been eating and drinking and passing motion. He goes home and there should be no complaints from the owner of the post-op infection of the, of the bone because the cat has been uh, here for eight days and has been given antibiotics and painkillers. Okay, bring up here. A bit limping but can bear weight. Okay, we put here, put here and then to, you will see the see the surgery again. Put to the side. Yeah. Okay, so I video you can see the 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 stitches. Any infection? No infection. Okay. Stitches the skin. And then we see here. This this part is where the pin is. Huh? It, this is where the pin will be removed later. Okay, put back in first. So the cat. Now we talk about the surgery. Okay, come. So we see the history from the case. Case. Uh, okay, now this is the fracture area. Okay, I put. Uh, I put like this. You can see the the proximal segment. Where is the proximal? This is the proximal segment. And the other distal segment is this side from this end to to the joint uh, to the hip. The distal segment is uh, this is the distal segment. <coughs> the proximal segment is below this one. One end to the other end, uh, the proximal segment is from this part to the fracture part. Uh, That's called the proximal segment. And the patella is there. Condyles? Condyles are there. Okay. So this is a lateral view of the fracture before surgery. Now we go at the ventral dorsal view. The ventral dorsal view, you can see the fracture is a spiral fracture. There are fragments, huh? There are some fragments lying around. Now, you don't remove the fragments during surgery as they will dissolve the, by themselves. Removal will cause more bleeding. Eh? Okay, now we look at the third x-ray which shows, shows that the pin has been inserted in eight days ago and you can see the pin just rests on the condyles. Condyles, eh? uh, there are condyles there. And then it goes through up to the hip, the trochanteric fossa, and then it will be there. Okay, so this is the the X-ray after insertion of the pin. Now we'll do the explanation, a quick explanation of the surgical technique. Okay, the first one, the first picture. First picture, we insert the skins and then inside the skin, yeah, inside skin. Skins and then we can see the muscles. Mm. So we cut the muscle layer Slowly, right here. Yeah. Expose. Expose so the, the segment, distal and proximal segments. Yeah. Okay. This one is the, we expose the proximal segment. So we can see the proximal segment here. Proximal segment, yeah. Okay. Uh, by by uh, flexion or extension, okay. Then the third then, one, third uh, photo, third one, photo. Uh, we also in, uh, start to the see the distal segment yeah. here and uh, this one is the patella. Uh, so get the landmarks correct. Yeah. This is the segment. Okay, then the fourth picture. 
four picture we insert the pin from the between two condyes. Mm. You can do that or you don't have to do that this up. But I think this one you have to do yeah. If not then you just over reduce and do it from the other side, yeah? the proximal segment. Okay, so in this case the picture shows that the pin is introduced from the below the the condyles. <coughs> The patella will be luxated immediately. Okay, the fifth picture. The fifth picture we insert from the. It it goes the in, uh, then the it, it, <coughs> it connects and joins to the distal segment. The segment. And then uh, it will be. We push the pin uh, from the proximal segment to the distal segment. Uh, to, towards the hip area, yeah. And come up from the skin, uh, which we showed just now in the cat. Okay, then the last picture. And uh, then we cut the pin. Uh, Bit from the oh, cut off, cut uh, off the pin from the between the two condyles. Uh, and then uh, the the whole proximal and distal segment is reduced. Uh, then we we'll close up the muscles and the skin, antibiotic and painkillers. So essentially, this is the surgical method done for the cat. Okay, so we finish already. The cat going home today, and uh, it, two weeks later we'll review.